Hello, I am doing um, a different kind of video today. Oh, there goes my screen. <laughs> um, so today I'm showing you one of my favorite editing tricks for when you're filming something live and you're using manual settings and then the light changes outside. So this can be if you're like filming in a studio using natural light or you're out filming like a wedding day and or you're filming outdoors and the light is changing so like the sun's coming out then it's going behind a cloud maybe it's a cloudy day maybe the sun's getting warmer then it's getting cooler like whatever is happening in your environment this is my super easy editing hack to fix that so what you're gonna do you're gonna pull up your clip and two i did blur out the content that was on the easel um, so don't worry about that. I did that on purpose because this was an e-course for this client and I just, I don't want to accidentally leak anything. Up your clip and I'm going to scrub through my clip right here so that you can see what kind of color changes I'm talking about and what we were dealing with. So in this situation, we were filming in a studio with natural light. Our light source was to the left. You can kind of see it shining in. Anyway, the clouds were coming like... It must have been so much cloud cover. It was crazy. It was changing the colors so much, getting so dark and so bright. It was a little insane. Um, and we didn't really have any way to control it in this studio setting. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start chopping up where the biggest color changes are. So where that is, I'm just gonna cut the clip. So you can see me doing that here. And then each clip, I'm gonna try to bring up to a very neutral exposure in a very neutral color. So some of these clips, I'm adjusting the color temperature a little bit because obviously the sun is warmer than when it's blocked by clouds, the clip will get cooler. So I'm doing that here and chop, chop, chop. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pop into the effects tab. I'm editing in Premiere Pro, um, but most NLEs have this effect and it's called the cross dissolve. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab that cross dissolve effect and I'm gonna put it over each and every cut. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna essentially blend my color changes into the clip before. So it's gonna create a more natural looking flow of the light and it's not gonna be as intense and as crazy. So um, I'm scrubbing through it here. I can still see some like pretty big changes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the cross dissolve effect. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create more of like a gradient as it's uh, merging from like one color grade into the next. So it's not gonna be as noticeable. So that's a good trick. And then I'm also gonna go in and I'm gonna cut up the clip just a little bit more uh, and make it to where it looks really nice and smooth. So this is kind of something you have to play with and see what's gonna work for your environment and your client. But as you can see, as I'm scrubbing through and I'm going in and I'm making some more little tweaks and changes, by the end of it, I have a pretty good clip. Like this looks nice. I still have a couple more edits I wanna do, but this clip looks really nice. So this is one of my favorite tips. Um, I hope it serves you well.